And we are live. All right. I'm going to wait for some people to come on in and join me. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see if I can see. I think I'll be able to see when people join. I'm going to wait a few minutes until people start joining so I can properly introduce myself. And I'm going to share this on my page. Hi, we have, we have someone that just joined. Hello. I'm sharing this on um, my social media so we can get more people in on the live chat. Hi. All right. I have shared it. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Andrea Jabao, and I'm your Miss Earth United States 2017. I am so excited to be joining um, you all and doing this live chat. So giving you guys the opportunity to get to know me and why I'm so excited to compete at Miss Earth and why I want to be Miss Earth. Um, so keep your questions coming. Hi, Tony. Thank you for joining, and I'm so excited for the Philippines. Hi, Rape. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Hi, thank you so much. Mio, Mayoman. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. My superhero costume. So I actually, um, a few hours ago, I got my... Uh, sketch for my superhero costume and I'm so excited. I think it's incredible that the Miss Earth organization um, is doing that this year. Um, I can tell you guys my superhero's name. Her name is Serena C. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. You're just going to have to tune in um, and, and see her costume and what she's all about. Hi, thank you so much. Yep, my costume is Serena C. I'm I'm so excited, guys. It's so exciting. Okay. And also, today was also another eventful day because my flight to the Philippines has officially been booked. So I will be leaving out of New York on October 6th um, to head to the Philippines. And I have a layover in Dubai. So I'm really excited. And I've never been to any of the Asian countries, um, but I'm really excited to visit the Philippines. It's actually one of the countries that has been on my bucket list for the longest time. So I'm excited to um, embrace myself in the culture, try out the food, um, get to interact with the Filipino people. And I've been also practicing my Tagalog. The color of my costume, there's a varies of different colors. Hi, thank you so much, Sandru. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep up with. Do I feel pressure because Corinne was Miss Earth Fire 2016? Uh, no, I don't feel pressure. Corinne and the past Miss Earth United States have done an incredible job at Miss Earth. And um, I just hope that I'm able to uh, keep the job well done streak going and hopefully even win the title of Miss Earth. My flight is on October 6th, so that's when I'll be leaving um, out of New York. You guys have to help me with some of the, uh, with, with the uh, Filipino language, Tagalog. So I, I started learning, um, uh, mag magandang uh, umaga po, which means good morning. I hope I said that right. And of course, my buhay, Philippines. Oh, I'm so excited for the beach. The beach is actually one of the one of the only places that I feel so centered and um, I'm able to just have a breath of fresh air and, and just have think about my life. We're trying to reconnect here. Okay. Oh, thank you. Another question about my superhero. All I'm going to say is her 
her name, and her name is Serena C. Hi, thank you so much. Salamat po. Oh, I will definitely eat balut. I'm really excited to try that. There's actually a restaurant here in New York that um, that has balut on their menu, but I'm actually going to wait until I get to the Philippines to try it because because why not? I am done with my eco video, um, and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I'm looking forward to meeting all the candidates, honestly. Um, I'm really big on embracing other people's culture and um, getting to know people from different countries. Um, and and so I'm, I'm just really excited to get to know all these ladies. And of course, all of, all of us have um, something in common and that's, um, you know, wanting to fight back climate change. And, and so I'm really excited for that. So I'm trying to keep up with all of the questions. I'm just really excited to meet everyone. I've already gotten to know uh, Miss Earth Puerto Rico a little bit when I was in Puerto Rico. Um, and actually, I think her and I may actually be flying together to the Philippines since we have the same director. And um, she was wonderful. So I'm really excited to meet everyone else. Yes, I'm so excited to see Catherine again. Um, so I got a chance for this. I don't know. Catherine came to... Uh, the United States when I won Miss Earth United States and so I got to know her during the pageant weekend and then we went off to Puerto Rico so I got to spend some time with her um, and get to know her and she's so kind so much fun so incredible and um, you can definitely tell she has a passion for the earth and and has a passion for the job that she has hi Emmanuel hi thank oh thank you I haven't talked to any of the other candidates yet um, besides Puerto Rico. Oh, I hope we get to visit that island. If I could switch bodies with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Uh, can I tell you Catherine Espin? Because one of the biggest things that I love doing is traveling. And she has been doing so much traveling and so much amazing service um, since she's won. So give, give me Catherine's body. So um, I was born in a small country on the west coast of Africa called Cape Verde, um, which is actually one of the countries that is going to be extinct due to climate change. Um, my family and I moved to the United States at a really young age so I could have the opportunity to live out the American dream. Um, so I grew up in Massachusetts, but I've been living in New York for almost five years now. Yeah, I'm excited to meet Miss Thailand and Miss Philippines and all the other delegates. Okay, let's see. Technology makes life very convenient, but it is also being blamed or cert for certain environmental problems. How do you propose to find a balance between technology and earth preservation? I definitely agree and I and I will say that I really believe technology is doing more good than it is bad. Um, a couple weeks ago I got a chance to go to a recycling facility here in New York and let me tell you that the te technology behind those machines are absolutely incredible. Um, to be able to uh, get at all the, re all the recyclable pieces and um, sp spread them apart and be able to recycle them, whether it's metal or plastic. Um, I think it's incredible because, of course, some of those things you can do, uh, you know, with human hands, but it's a lot quicker and more efficient when a machine it does it. And there was actually this one machine that um, it, it it was like a big metal thing, and all it and it, all it did was just suck up all the uh, aluminums and all the metals uh, that was kind of just stuck in the trash. It just like I, I wish I, you guys could see it. Maybe I have a video on my Facebook. It just like brought, I don't know, it just brought it up. It was uh, so incredible. Okay, let me see. 
do I feel pressure uh, that there will be 101 delegates? No, I think it's incredible. The more people that I get to meet, the better. And the more people f uh, wanting to fight back against climate change, the better. So... I haven't had a chance to talk to Corinne yet, but I'm hoping this upcoming week I'll have a chance to talk to her about her experience. Uh, but Catherine Espen gave me a lot of good tips and uh, told me a little bit about her experience when she competed last year. I love you all in Tagalog. Mahal ko kayo? Did I say that right? Which one book would I recommend to someone who wants to learn more about the earth and why? So I actually am launching my school tour tomorrow. I go visit my first school. And uh, there's a book that I that my director gave me that I carry with me. And it's literally called The Earth Book. And it just kind of makes it... Because climate change can be very... Um, it's very scientific and sometimes they use terms that people may not understand. So the book just makes it more of a, a casual dialogue and it's a picture book and kids love picture books. So that's something that um, I know is going to be very effective when I go into schools. What is my talent? Okay, so uh, I don't have much of a talent. I don't sing. I kind of dance. I used to play an instrument, not anymore. But um, I actually came up with a really cool talent performance. Uh, and I think you guys will all really enjoy it, but I won't say anything else about it. And just giving you guys, um, telling you guys about my my, my advocacy. Um, it's called Think Global, Act Local, and it's just to promote and encourage people to live in a way that does less harm to the environment um, by using the five R's, reduce, reuse, rethink, recycle, and respect, and just make it a part of their lifestyle. And I'm also promoting zero waste uh, because I live in New York City, and New York is the number one city in the entire world uh, that produces the most trash. And so that's something that um, I'm constantly surrounded by and I'm a huge advocate for. If given the chance, would I like to join what are Miss Earth, Miss World, or Miss Universe? And why? Uh, okay, so let me just tell you a quick background story about who I am as a person. So ever since I was little, I have always felt that I have a huge purpose in my life, right? I just knew it. Um, but for the longest time, I didn't really understand how I could fulfill that purpose. And I tried doing different things, and I came to realize that making an impact, um, inspiring other people, and really making a difference in the world is my purpose in life. And so I started working with kids. I worked with the disability community. And joining Miss Earth, I... I have to tell you guys that I feel so incredibly fulfilled um, going out there and picking up trash and talking to kids and doing all these things to reduce my carbon footprint. I know that it's going to make our planet a better place um, because, you know, I'm, I'm reducing my carbon footprint. So I know that the impact, uh, what I'm doing is really, really making an, imp an impact. And for me, that's, I'm just fulfilling my purpose. But I think all pageants... Um, are incredible and uh, you know it, it gives women it gives women a platform to empower other women to talk about things that they uh, they are passionate about hi mark hi <laughs> I love you all my Filipinos Hi, Sabrina. What effort must the country's government uh, exert to stop global warming? So, unfortunately, the Don President Donald Trump and the U.S. government pulled the United States out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Now, I think that's absolutely horrible and it's very unfortunate, but what I will tell you is that we the people have the power to um, overcome that. We have the power to, uh, you know, control our local and our state, uh, our state government. So, uh, for example, like New York, they just introduced a new, um, a new 
uh, recycling program where they actually are recycling food scraps to create energy. Um, different states like Florida and California, all of these states are doing incredible things on their own to help the environment. And so even though, again, it's very unfortunate that we're not in the Paris Climate Agreement anymore and we should be, that's not stopping us from fighting back climate change. Show us your pageant walk. I don't have room for that. <laughs> you guys are all so sweet. Thank you so much. What makes me blush? Uh, definitely just compliments. I'm, I'm already, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a really smiling person. I love to smile. I'm happy all the time. Um, but I guess when someone gives me a compliment, it makes me blush. <laughs> love or crown it depends what kind of love you're talking about if it's family love family love all the way mabuhay thank you all or should i say salamat po how does it feel to be one of the front runners uh for miss earth um I, it's great. It's incredible. I mean, the support has been really amazing. I really appreciate it. You know, this is something that I wanted really bad and I got the title of Miss Earth United States and now I'm really set on the title of Miss Earth. And to know that you guys are supporting me and you guys want me to win, it feels good. But at the same time, um, I understand what I'm capable of and I know what my passion is and why I want to be Miss Earth. So I'm just going to really hold to that. Um, but thank you, thank you all so much. What is your opinion about body shaming? Uh, okay, so there's a difference of, uh, um, regarding people having an opinion and bullying. When someone has an opinion, you need to be able to be confident in yourself and understand who you are. Um, and if it's body shaming, because men get body shamed, but if it's body shaming as a woman, know who you are as a woman. And don't let anyone else uh, try to, you know, deteriorate, deteriorate or um, make you feel less than who you are. Um, but when it comes to bullying, that is something that I feel very strongly about. And that comes a point where you have to stand up for yourself. Or if you are seeing someone else get body shamed, please stand up for them. What is the color of my evening gown for finals? Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. But I can tell you that it's not green and it's not red. I won't forget to eat balut. <laughs> Please, I can't, I wish I could show you all my catwalk, but I, I don't have any room. <laughs> you have to wait for the show. And I have been working on my catwalk because there's always room for, for improvement. What country would you like to be your roommate? Um, so I speak four languages. I speak uh, French, uh, I'm learning French actually. I speak Portuguese, Cape Verdean Creole, Spanish, and of course English. So if I'm able to practice my Portuguese or practice my Spanish even more with my roommate, that would be awesome. I'm trying to look through all the um, the questions, everyone. I don't know who's going to be my roommate yet. Uh, and again, my advocacy is uh, think global, act local. Um, I explained it earlier on in the video. Am I comfortable in removing my makeup? Oh yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what I'm going to do after this video because I have a really early morning and so I need to go to bed. Did I join? Yeah, so I, did I join any other, why am I, okay, did I join any other beauty pageants before Miss Earth USA or modeling before? You have a really good and fierce catwalk. Thank you. Um, so I,
did a few pageants before Miss Earth USA, and I started modeling when I was 12 years old. Um, so I guess it's kind of why um, my catwalk is good, because I've just been practicing my half my life, pretty much. I am 22 years old. I just turned 20, uh, last, 22 last month on August 3rd. Ooh. Oh, thank you. I don't, someone said my eyes are pretty, thank you. The USA got all the elemental crowns for three consecutive years. Um, do I feel pressure to get the Miss Earth crown this year? Uh, I, again, I don't feel pressure. Um, I think it's an honor and uh, a privilege that I, I get to go and represent the United States. And so I'm just really excited and I'm going to give it my all and, and do the best I can and hopefully bring back the Miss Earth uh, title back to the USA for the very first time in history. my mission okay so um so my mission competing for miss earth and, and wanting to be miss earth is um it's not just to protect the environment it's really to create a world where the environment no longer needs protecting and and that's why i really just want to be miss earth because i fully understand uh the honor and the responsibility uh that is to be miss earth and i know that my charisma my knowledge uh, my creativity and my passion um will help me keep the legacy of beauty and responsibility would i prefer to live in a hot or cold country uh a hot country here um, in New York, we are uh, fall season is upon us, so the weather is getting kind of chilly. But guess what? I get to escape it and be in the Philippines, where the weather is beautiful. So, hi, Miriam. My favorite Miss Earth water, Brittany and Payne. I absolutely love Brittany. She's I consider her one of my role models and one of my really good friends and um she's also someone that i've gotten a lot of tips from um uh, because she, she of course did compete at miss earth and um she gave me a lot of good tips and uh i'm i love her so i hope she's watching you are hi Brittany. coffee or tea tea i don't drink coffee at all which is surprising because i always have so much energy like 24 7 I'm I'm just an energized person and people think that um, I am a coffee drinker and not at all hi Ashley I love you girl who is my favorite Miss Earth aside from Catherine um, Angelia so I I have heard a lot about Angelia from Brittany um, all good things and I when Angelia had competed that year I had picked her out as the winner um, from the beginning when I was watching the show because she just has this aura about her and this energy and I just think it's so um, incredible and I really aspire uh, to be someone that she is so I I love Angelia it, besides my favorite Miss Earth being Catherine If one day Mother Nature tells you that she is giving up, what will you tell her? I will tell her not to give up and not to worry because the Miss Earth uh, heroines are coming and we are going to save her. We are going to educate people on ways uh, to save our Mother Nature. So don't give up, Mother Earth. Yes, I've watched Miss Earth 2016. I am 5'10". Maganda means beautiful in Philippines. Got it. 
what can you all expect from my eco video? So my eco video, you guys will have the opportunity to know about my hobbies, know why I want to be Miss Earth, and why I think I would be the best candidate to be uh, to be Miss Earth. Um, and you're also going to learn a little bit about what the United States is doing to fight back climate change, and also what I think we should be doing um, in the near future. Do I have secret diet tips? Uh, I mean, just eat healthy. I live a pretty a, a pretty clean lifestyle. Um, I don't eat a lot of processed foods, um, and I try to eat organic as much as I can. Um, that's also a great tip. So. My advocacy going into Miss Earth United States was promoting organic farming instead of conventional farming because um, if you don't know, organic farming actually uh, el eliminates uh, carbon dioxide and um, it helps fight back climate change because when you're using conventional farming, all those pesticides and herbicides and different chemicals go in the soil, um, which ends up ruining our soil and, and getting into our water. So um, if you can, try to buy from your local farmer and buy organic. What is my favorite part of the pageant? Um, my favorite part of the pageant is actually interview because um, I think that just gives the judges an opportunity to, of course, get to know me better and know why I'm competing. And that's something that they may not, that they don't really see while you're on stage competing in swimsuit and competing in evening gown, um, even though those uh, portions of the competitions are, are fun as well. Yes, the video will be in uh, will be on playback. Have a good class, Prince. What food am I most excited to eat in Philippines? Uh, balut, because that's, of course, one of the staple cuisines. And so, um, again, I'm really all about embracing someone's culture, and that's what, exactly what I plan on doing when I go to the Philippines. My nationality, I am full K Verdian. Yes, it will be my very first time um, in the Philippines. Do you think I'll cry if the hosts announced that I would be Miss Earth 2017? Oh yes, I would absolutely cry. And not a pretty cry either, unfortunately. Long gown or swimsuit? Ooh, swimsuit. Oh, you all are so sweet. Thank you. Salamat po. Hi, Charmaine. Thank you so much. My definition of a winner. So for me, it's someone that just embodies... We're, let's talk about um, Miss Earth. So it's someone that just embodies what the organization is, being a beauty for a cause, um, you know, being a beauty and uh, understanding the legacy of beauty and responsibility, having a passion for wanting to create change and being a voice for mother nature. Um, because climate change is a real thing. It's actually, it's, it's one of the biggest topics and one of um, the biggest things uh, a humanity has ever had to really face. And so having someone um, who understands that and really wants to make an impact and change that, I think that's what a winner is. I am an animal lover. I have a Yorkie. Her name is Lily, and she is two years old. Um, and I actually posted a, on the Miss Earth page. I was giving a tip for animal lovers um, or pet owners. 
uh, on ways that you can fight back against climate change if you're a pet owner. Um, there's organic pet food that you can buy, and you can also use stainless steel food bowls instead of uh, using plastic ones since those tend to deteriorate, um, and with the stainless steel one, that you can use them over and over again. Magandang gumaga po. How many heels will I bring to the Philippines? Um, I won't be bringing that many heels. I'm actually going to bring more walking shoes because I know we're going to be doing a lot more service than we are maybe going to be in heels. Uh, and so for me, I need a really good nude heel, a really good black heel, and a couple of fun fashion forward heels. My favorite color is pink. So yeah, so Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, uh, that's something that's really disheartening and it's really unfortunate what those people are going through, really losing their homes um, and having to go somewhere else. And I think it's just really important that we understand that these hurricanes and the intensity of these hurricanes are happening because of climate change. And if we don't really start realizing that and minimize our carbon footprint and do things to help prevent this from happening again, um, you know, it's it's really not, it's gonna, it, all these hurricanes are gonna continue on happening and that's something that we don't want because it, it's ruining people's lives and, and it's really, really sad. So my heart and my prayers go out to everyone being affected by Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane um, Irma. And please, if you if you want to help, I listed a list of websites on the Miss Earth United States Facebook page. So you can either donate money or you or you can send uh, clothes or, or perishable, unperishable goods um, to these people going through this really rough time right now. How often do I go to the gym? Um, I go to the gym every day, um, sometimes twice a day. Do you believe that children are our future? <clears throat> yes, of course children are our future. So right now I think it's really, um, it's really important that we we save our planet for our children because you know when i think about the planet when when my parents were younger when my when my grandparents were kids um and seeing the amount of species and um you know how many trees they had and just seeing how beautiful mother nature was and and unfortunately seeing the planet and the state that it is now um and I think it's it, if we don't do something, it's obviously only going to get worse from here. So that's something that I'm really passionate about to make sure that when I have children or my children uh, has children, that the planet is as beautiful um, and that there's a lot of different species roaming our planet and it's a, and it's a good in a good health because um, you know we we have the power right now to uh, change the direction that uh, the climate will go in. what are um, my preparations for Miss Earth. Uh, so right now, it's it's mostly, of course, uh, preparing for media interviews, um, working on my plan. If I do win Miss Earth, which I hope I do, what would I do as Miss Earth? That's something that I've really been focusing on because I want to take the opportunity and, and really make a difference and take in every day and, and make an impact, do something every single day. So that's something that has been number one on my preparation. But of course, followed up by um, making sure that I'm working out and living a healthy lifestyle and getting all my wardrobe together since I will be in the Philippines for four weeks. If I was caught in a heavy, terribly frustrating traffic, uh, what are the best ways to make my time productive? So that's actually my day-to-day -day life, living in New York. There's always traffic. Um, but what I usually do is I, I have music playing. Um, 
and when I don't have music playing, I usually listen to uh, like documentaries um, about like other people's lives or inspirational, motivational documentaries, um, documentaries about climate change. So I usually uh, just take like turn off my music and I listen to a documentary. How do you prepare for the interview portion? You just have to be yourself for the interview and know who you are as a woman and uh, what you have to offer, why you're there. That's the biggest thing. Um, and so it's it's not, interview is not supposed to really, you know, try to knock you off your game or anything like that. It's just a conversation with the judges um, and that's how that's how I see it. Hi, Jada. Can I give you all a beauty tip? Wash your makeup at night. <laughs> what is my expectation competing at Miss Earth? I'm really excited. I think it's an experience of a lifetime. Um, this is really a dream come true for me. So I'm going to just take it all in, enjoy every single day, every single moment, get to know all the girls, uh, live out my dreams, and I'm really excited to be there. So one more month. Hi, thank you so much. So I have a few more minutes before I wrap up. Um, the live only because I have a really long day tomorrow. How would I describe Mother Nature to a blind child? Uh, so, for me, when I was younger and my mom used to give me hugs, uh, well, she still gives me hugs, but they just feel so warm and it just makes me feel so good inside and just so happy. Um, and so that for me, that's how I would kind of describe Mother Nature, like a warm, loving, tight hug. Hi to all my Filipino fans, mabuhay. Yes, I do my own makeup. Recognized for changing, let's see. How would I encourage everyone to follow me? Um, for me, it's just all about, um, you know, doing things, it's like, like the things that I'm doing, other people are going to be looking at me. So making sure that the things that I do and the things that I say are always positive. Going out into my community, cleaning up, picking up the trash, going to schools, educating them. And I feel like, especially in schools, uh, they look up to they look like they look up to role models and they look up to someone like Miss Earth, Miss Earth United States. And um, I know that once they see someone. Um, you know, doing all these positive things in their community, that's something that they're they're going to want to follow. Hi, Ricky, thank you. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up uh, thank you all so much for having me. I'm really excited to be at Miss Earth. Um, please continue to follow my journey to Miss Earth and, and follow my advocacy and everything that I'll be doing um, leading up to Miss Earth on all my social media, which is um, Andrea Jabal, uh, Miss Earth United States on Instagram and Miss Earth United States on Facebook. So thank you all so much again for tuning in to all my Filipinos. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and everyone here in the United States, uh, for those on the West Coast and East Coast, uh, have a good night. And thank you all so very much. Mwah. Bye, everyone.